Hello dear Geminis, this is Clarity1129 and welcome to your March and April 2022 predictions. How are you all doing? I hope the first two months of the year have been good and you've got to do all that you like to do. All right, because if the first two year, months are good, you know, you get that wonderful energy to move ahead. Well, we shall be following the same format as we always do. The rest of the cards are down here. There isn't much place because this place, uh, this table is small. Now, we're going to follow the usual format. If I Did I mention it? Yeah. So, we'll take out one card each for the months of March and April for the overarching energy of the month from the Monology deck. All right. So, what do you get for... March, you get new moon in Cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. This is the overarching energy for the month of okay. March. And for the month of April, you get something flipped over. get waxing crescent moon have faith in your dreams wow all right so if some of you are there doubting don't do that have faith in your dreams if you're planning to give up don't do that all right for the month of march i'll take out four cards from the star spinner tarot which is such a beautiful deck and We'll take out one card each for your general outlook. Love, romance, relationships, Korean finance, and spiritual growth. All okay. right. And then we'll do the same for April. So for your general outlook, you get the beautiful Queen of Cups or the Queen of Chalices in this deck. For your love and romance, you get wow the sun so beautiful for your career and finances you get the hierophant this is beautiful as well and for your spiritual growth you get the nine of coins Beautiful energy. We're going to use the original Rider weight for the month of April and we'll take out four cards again. For the general outlook for wow uh, for april you get the beautiful two of cups for your love and romance you get the king of cups this is a wonderful wonderful reading for your career and finances you get the seven of pentacles and for your spiritual growth you get the tower Ooh. So, sort of anti-climax all right okay Now I'm going to take out two cards each from the Tea Leaf Tarot for the months of March and April to further amplify, clarify your general outlook. Okay, so it gives us additional information. Right for March, you get Lily, spiritual love. Wow, and spiritual love and the hierophant. Oh, but the hierophant is in the career. Sorry, all right, okay, let's see. And boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Okay, 
and for April you get four leaf clover great good fortune wow and the elephant a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end and with this tower card i think it will something is going to shift in your life all right this is your basic reading all right I will first finish with this before I take additional cards for you, all right? Okay, for the month of March, you get this assurance uh, that you and your loved ones are safe. This is the overarching energy. So maybe you are more focused on the people you love, on your relationship. Maybe the focus this month is on this. We'll find out. But either ways, no matter what you're doing, or maybe you are planning to... Um, you know, take a next step as far as your career is concerned or maybe for your spiritual growth, you want to travel and you're wondering whether everyone back at home will be okay and you're being given this uh, reassurance that yes, you and your loved ones are safe. So no matter what you're planning to do, they will be fine, all right? So don't hold yourself back thinking that something will go wrong there. No, you and your loved ones are safe, all right? Now, for your um, general outlook for the month of March, you get this beautiful energy of the Queen of Chalices. So this month, you will be, it doesn't matter whether you're male or female, it's the energies we're talking about. The Queen of, of Chalices is Cancerian energy. It's all about nurturing. It's all about love. All right. Um, this queen is, you know, she loves herself. And she is so compassionate and loving towards everyone else. And you're in this energy. All right. So people will start looking up uh, to you. You know, you'll find that people flock to you this month because you are uh, exuding this beautiful, compassionate energy. All right. And you are very comfortable with yourself as well. You're in a good place. Self-love is at its best. Everything is just uh, beautiful. So this is wonderful energy. So no matter which area uh, of uh, in your life it is, you are going to have this particular attitude in it. Whether it's your career or it's in your romantic uh, life, you find that you are in a very compassionate, harmonious place. You're in a very magnanimous place and people are very comfortable with you. So there's generally harmony wherever you go, all right, which is such a wonderful energy to be in. Now for your, uh, yes, now further amplifying this is, are these two cards here which says spiritual love with lily and increase your efforts if you want to uh, achieve your goal now these two are very general and as we move along we'll get to know but there is something beautiful happening as far as your um uh, possibly your love life is concerned or your spiritual journey is concerned or maybe both are intertwined all right because you have this beautiful sun in your um, um, love relationship and romance sector. All right. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's the most positive card in the deck. All right. And um, with spiritual love, this could be, um, you know, that one person who's going to bring you, you know, it could be a soulmate, a high level soulmate, possibly a twin flame. It could be for those who resonate with the term, but it is some relationship which is going to awaken you spiritually. All right. And in fact, I've, with the Hierophant here, which is also a very spiritual card, which has come in your career and finance, it's also possible that some of you are uh, planning careers, which um, either as a side hustle or as you're, you know, you're giving up your traditional careers and going for something uh, esoteric maybe reading tarot cards or uh, you know astrology or maybe you're just learning that for your interest or you're um, you know trying to um, bring it into whatever you do all right you're trying to fuse uh, fuse both of them some sort of fusion of um, whatever you're doing and bringing this into it or uh, some sort of thing like that you know you're bringing it into your business you're trying to 
uh, put merge two ideas together one spiritual and one whatever you're doing so this is what you're doing and uh, so you're very activated spiritually and it's possibly because of this love all right now here for singles out there it's uh, possibly a leo coming into your life with the sun card which is beautiful um so and it doesn't matter how it's depicted but it's possible that uh, a leo is coming into your life all right it could be the uh, other uh, fire signs as well but strongly it shows leo because the sun is a card of leo and uh this you will just be instantly happy in this connection so when this person comes across um you know comes in front of you when you come across them you'll just know that this is right because you will be able to be yourself your inner child will be uh, at its best very comfortable and uh, you'll actually get be in touch with your inner child during this time so you will actually come to know you know you can be yourself you can do all silly goofy things and you're very comfortable in this relationship so this is for you singles out there for those of you who are in partnerships already depending on which state you are in you will be uh, experiencing a lot of bliss all right uh, this just happiness happiness in whatever you're doing so those of you who are in partner relationships or relationships over a long time marriages you'll again find that renewed spark happiness sunshine um a time in your life in the month of march which is very very beautiful gemini this is wonderful energy to be in and it's possible that you are attracting this kind of happiness into your relationship because you are embodying the uh, queen of chalices or the queen of cups because you are being so compassionate and you're so comfortable in yourself and you're completely in love with yourself and happy at where you are and just the way you are and that is why it's uh, you know you're being such a strong magnet and attracting the best relationships which will give you so much of happiness into your life all right for your career and finances as i said you get the hierophant so if you're in any traditional um you know um careers like say a doctor or engineer or whatever you're going to find tremendous success you're going to do really well if you're in teaching if you're uh, in uh, you know any sort of um, line where you, whether you are a spiritual teacher or you're a, a teacher in any colleges schools whatever you're going to do really uh, wonderful and people are going to really look up to you all right and for others of you you will either start learning as i said earlier something to do with the esoteric sciences or either um make it a main job for you or a side hustle where you you've given a lot of uh, thing or you know there are a lot of uh, like tarot readers who have a job the whole week but then they on weekends or on certain days they um do tarot readings as well so you know that's a you can either do that or as i said you can merge ideas that you learn from astrology and uh, your uh, spirituality and use it in your profession but either ways it's going to be a very beautiful um, state that you are in all right and you it's going to bring you a lot of uh, satisfaction and here with the 9 of pentacles now uh, for your spiritual growth 9 of pentacles is the card of uh independence this person is financially independent secure in herself uh she's made a very good place for herself she's comfortable she's living a luxurious life without the need for anyone else and unlike the usual um a nine of pentacles this one is been de depicted with a beautiful owl on her shoulders all right which marks uh, wisdom so um and it since it's come into your um sector of spirituality you are going to be on your own in nature when you're going to get some sort of epiphany all right you're going to be completely comfortable in yourself and you're going to be one with yourself while you're in nature and this is when you're going to get some epiphany of some sort and that's going to change a lot of things in your life all right and um here i'd like to now everything else is talking about spirituality and spiritual love and you and your loved ones being safe and whatever you want to do you can do everything is beautiful but here 
let all these ideas that you have not just remain in your head please put them to action so whatever you want to do whatever area you uh, are in or whatever you were learning please if you, if there is a goal that you have in mind put in that effort actual effort ground yourself and with this card this is further uh, this is what is coming from this that you need to get out in nature some more and you need to ground your energies because you tend to be in your head a lot because you are an air sign and uh, it, it's great satisfaction it brings you but you need to ground yourself especially if you're looking for material success you need to ground yourself and put an actual effort towards doing that not just in your head but actual effort so that you get those tangible results that you're looking for moving on to april you being uh the overarching energy for this month is waxing crescent moon have faith in your dreams so you have a dream there's something that you're looking for there's something that you're waiting for there's something you're focusing on all right and um that's why you're being told here with this boot card in march that if you want to achieve your goal, which you have, don't give up on your dreams. Just work harder, all right? And you're going to get it. Uh, and don't just stay in your mind. Actually do something, ground your energy. Look at this beautiful card that you get. Two of Cups as the general outlook for the month of April. This talks about great partnerships. Be, in your, uh, be it in your love life. In anything, see, you get the Queen of Chalices here right uh to here in april you get the king of chalices all right so there's spots and with the sun card as i told you and the spiritual love here you are going to come in contact with your soulmate with your twin flame possibly with a very with someone that you are going to have a very long-term committed um, relationship with all right now seeing the king of cups here and the sun here i said the person coming into your life could be a Leo, but it could also be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, all right? And since you are in this beautiful energy of the Queen of Cups in the month of March and moving towards the beautiful Two of Cups, wherein you're open to collaboration, you're going to actually attract wonderful collaborations, all right? Whether it is in your career or it is a wonderful partnerships, relationships, wherever you are, whoever you're dealing with, it's going to be extremely harmonious it's going to be equal give and take and it's going to be extremely satisfying and what's more is that you within yourself you're going to come into a place of balance all right with that you get this beautiful four leaf clover great good fortune so whatever it is that you're working on have faith in your dreams put in that extra work great good fortune is just around the corner you're going to get that all right so if you are here, this is your um, card for your career and finances, you get the seven of pentacles. So you have put in a lot of effort and you're looking, why isn't it happening? It's happening for everyone else. Why isn't it happening for me? So you're being asked to get out of this energy. It is going to happen. You just put in work. Don't be in your head. Actually put in work, proper work and ground yourself. And then you will find that whatever you have dreamt is beautiful and it's going to bring you great fortune and you just need to increase your efforts and not keep looking at what you have done all right and things will happen now you get for spiritual growth you get the tower moment all right and a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end so what i get for you for some of you you will be making this physical journey and that's why in March, you're being told this, you and your loved ones are safe. So if you're planning to actually embark on a journey of some sort all by yourself here with the nine of coins, I see you might be going alone. Or if you're planning to start a venture of some sort, which is possibly spiritual in nature, and you're doing this all by yourself, you're being asked to go ahead without fear. Everyone who's dear to you will be well looked after make that journey and no matter how it turns out to be it depends on how much effort you put in and how much you ground yourself and how much of consistency you show and if you do you will get great good fortune you have spiritual love so maybe this person who's coming into your life is going to spark this uh, new way of thinking and uh, you know push you towards that side uh, and that's what's going to uh, send you on this journey 
And for some of you, it's going to be this mental journey. As I said, when you're out in nature, you're going to get an epiphany of sorts. But what it's going to do is this tower. You know what this card is? People get scared when you see this card because this shows people falling out of the uh, tower and the towers, uh, you know, being hit by lightning and things have just shaken up completely. And what this says is whatever it is that is built on foundation which is not strong which is not solid is going to break and this is actually a good card so if you um, based some of your life some area on your life on some sort of falsehood which is just brushing under the carpet and just saying okay it's all right spirit is telling you the universe is telling you it's not all right you are not moving ahead with your full potential because this is holding you back maybe it's just some healing that you need to do some childhood wound or something but you are going to be made to face that and it's possible it happens during your physical journey or during your um, you know time that you're sitting alone in nature this epiphany is going to come to you and it's going to change your life completely and change it for the better it's going to give you great satisfaction bring you a lot of good fortune so you've got to put in a bit of effort you as it has done a lot of um, uh, healing work I feel you're in a very good place with this energy here of the queen of chalices and then the two of cups so everything is looking so beautiful for you my dear Gemini's really it's a wonderful wonderful thing so all you've got to do is get out of your head a little bit drown yourself some more and if you have the dream actually start making plans and practical uh, steps what you're going to take write it down a, B, C, D. So it's clear to you. It's clear on paper. And then you actually take action towards it. All right. Now I'm going to take out one card each for the month of March and April for you from here. Success. So you are going to get success in the month of March. All right. And what do you get? And it's going to be as far as your career is concerned. So see here, your love life, everything is looking absolutely beautiful. The only thing wherein you're uncomfortable is here, Seven of Pentacles. We are seeing why isn't it happening. And you're being told this great good fortune. And you're just being told to put in effort. So you put in that effort in your career and you find things are going to work out great for you. So if there's any time specific question on your mind, I'm going to take out two months. That makes the window. And within that much of time, you're going to get whatever you're asking for. So between March, wow, and September. So whatever that you're asking for will come to you either as early as March or any time between March and September. All right. Next, we shall take out one card from the Daily Crystal Inspiration as advice from Spirit. One for March and one for April. So for March, your advice is adventuring. Create your own luck. Wow, this just goes so well with this. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. And you've been told here, have faith in your dreams. So if you feel you're not being lucky and you're working and things are not working, you can create your own luck. And how do you do that? By grounding your energies, putting down your plans practically so that they can come true. All right. And now we'll take out one card uh, of advice for April. And it says, blue lace agate, find your calm. And you'll get that calm. Even if the tower moment happens, you will find it. When you are sitting with yourself outside in nature, you will get what you're looking for. You'll get that epiphany. It's going to change your life. And it's going to, as it is, you're in such great energy. It's going to actually give you much more than you can even fathom. All right. Now, if there's any pressing question on your mind, my dear Geminis, bring it to focus. The angels are getting ready to answer. And the answer is yes. So whatever you're looking for, the answer is yes. All right. So this is such a wonderful reading, my dear Geminis. Do let me know how it resonated. And if you actually get what you, um, you know, working on, put up the, um, put in the work 
and give yourself that time ground yourself and you're going to have a wonderful march in april all right and i'm going to see you in your uh, season um, that is may i'll be seeing you uh, end of april actually with your may and june predictions so you're going to have wonderful um, things happening to you so that by the time it's end of may you're going to have uh, great reasons to celebrate all right so till i see you next time be good stay safe bye bye